Alright, I'm back now. Sorry about that. The phone call. I also got something to drink, so if you hear me periodically sipping something, you can know that I'm drinking some Big K Cola, if you are curious. And I apologize if you don't like hearing me sipping on a drink, but I am thirsty. Um, uh, Hop can't do crap against a Kakuna, apparently. So, we are going to switch Radish out for sound going? Oh, I just reset. Okay, we're gonna switch Radish out for, god darn it, for Smith. Good job, Smith, come back. You did absolutely nothing, but good job. Kakuna use Harden because that's all that they know how to do. Defense slightly rose. Battle. Tackle. Jeez. I, I didn't realize Hop didn't know any offensive moves yet. But, that I think the first move that it learns that's offensive is either Gust or Absorb. I think it's probably Absorb. Well, either way, this should be free experience for, uh, Kakuna, or not Kakuna, this should be free experience for Smith, although it might take a while, so I'm probably gonna end up switching Smith out with Cyndaquil, Flaming Mole, as his nickname is, to further the battle process so it doesn't take so long. Although eventually his defense is gonna get so high that he can't go any higher, and then I'm just gonna be doing one damage. But, we'll see how that turns out. It still looks like Pidgey's doing some decent amount of damage. Harden! Yay! Can Kakuna learn anything else, like, as a Kakuna? I don't think it can. I know it can learn Tackle if it evolves from a Weedle, Weedle or Poison Sting, but I don't think Kakuna learns any offensive moves in the Kakuna stage of evolution. Well, that wasn't so hard. 26 experience. Not bad. And Radish to now level 5. Did you learn a new move? Nope, didn't learn a new move yet. No matter. We will continue on our way. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, wrong way. My bad. Jumping ahead of myself. I think um, the only HM that's added into this game so far is Cut. I don't think anything else is added. Maybe Flashes, I'm not too sure on that. But I do know that there's at least one HM. But, like I said, I'll probably post a changelog in at the beginning of whatever video was the first one. And I'm actually kind of happy that I can do that now. Wrong button. I'm happy that I can do that now because... I recently found a free video editing program that's something like Sony Vegas, which is something that I've been trying to get for a while now, except for the fact that Sony Vegas is like $500, and I am not paying $500 for that. That is not in my price range. I tried, I tried being a delinquent and I tried torrenting it, but to no avail, so nobody can come and sue me because it never ended up working. But, I'm glad I found it, and if any of you are curious as to what I record with, I guess I could private message you if you private message me what I use, like, I'll give you full stats of what I use and everything, but I'm not gonna post it in, like, the video description or anything, because I don't think it's that big of a topic. And now Smith is poisoned. Yay. At least we don't get poisoned when we walk, only during battle, which is... Not that good, but not that bad either. Uh, I think we're probably going to capture Weedle since it knows Poison Sting. We can use it against Grass types pretty easily, which is the second gym. That is, if Smith can actually hit anything. Okay. Bag. Pokeball. Mega Hobby, use Pokeball. Come on. Come on, you know you want to be my friend. Come on, Weedle. There you go. I wonder if the success rates for catching Pokemon are the same in this game as they would be for other games. Uh, what should we name him? Let's name him Horned Worm. Because that's what he is. Right? Nah. I don't know what he's named off of. We're going to keep it at Horned Worm for now. I'm not going to spend too much time thinking through on naming Pokemon. But I will make it clever or something funny. I like how the ramps don't have snow on them for the ledges. 
excuse me. Is this a battle I see right here? I think this is a battle that I see right here. No, it's not a battle. I am not a trainer, but if you look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. Well, don't make yourself look like a trainer. You are a trainer, though, but this is a Pokemon battle. Wild Pokemon battle. Wild Caterpie. I will take a Caterpie because I don't think we have one of those yet. Uh, what level is it? Level 4? I don't want to put Smith in. Uh, I'll put Flaming Mole and see what he can do. Hopefully he doesn't one-shot it. I'm not going to use Umbrella because I know that that's going to one-shot it. Battle. Tackle. Maybe I should have used one Leer too. Oh no, I should be able to do two tackles. That should be good enough. Speed slightly fell. Flaming Mole used tackle. Watch this be a critical hit. Oh, it wasn't. Surprising. I don't know what I'm going to nickname Caterpie if I do end up getting it. But nevertheless, every Pokemon that we run into that we don't own, we are going to capture it. Um, although I might catch doubles or I might miss a few because my memory isn't too keen when there are over 300 Pokemon in this version of the game. Well, not, not this exact version, point two one. I mean this generation of the game. You know what I mean. Ah, uh, Caterpie. Excuse me, um, rename it. What should we rename it? I need something clever to rename it. I don't know what to name it. How about since it's going to evolve into a Butterfree eventually, we name it Monarch. Like a Monarch Butterfly. I think that that's clever for now. Actually, that's one thing that I should be nicknaming Pokemon based off of is their final evolution. You, I know for a fact, are a trainer, as evidenced by the exclamation point. Instead of bug Pokemon, I found a trainer! The, what is this, the second battle on the route? Bug Catcher Don. You have an odd name for being a bug catcher, I'll tell you that. Level 4 Caterpie. Flaming Mole? Let's see how your ember works. I wonder if it has uh, an animation yet. If it has an animation, that'd be pretty cool. String Shot! I always love the music for this game, the battle music. Oh, no, what, what am I doing? I don't want to switch out, I want to attack. Ember! Yeah! Oh, what the... That's a weird battle animation. Super effective, though. I like that. I'll take it. Although that's kind of weird, the, the animation for it. Uh, yeah. Who is our weakest Pokemon right now? Hornworm. We will send him out. I'm going to try to get all my Pokemon at least to level 5 before we get to the first town. At the very least. Um... God darn it. I would have you fight a Hornworm, but you are at a severe disadvantage being at only 3 health. And being one level behind your opponent. So, I'm going to have Flaming Mole switch in for you. And that way you'll get the EXP without taking a hit. That ball just looks so weird. Like, I know it's gonna be low res because of the game and everything, but it just looks so weird. Like, it's literally a ball of fire. But there's only so much you can do with pixels of this caliber. Nevertheless, it's still cool that it actually shows the animation. Don, Arg, you're too strong! Big hobby, you got 48 Poké Dollars for winning. Give me your money, punk. Take your lunch money. There's Mr. Pokemon's house. Oh, there's a pink apricorn there. Oh, wait, are the berries over there ready? Can I see them? Oh, I don't think I can see them. Can I see them if I go like this? Oh, yeah, I saw them. They are not even ready to be harvested. They replanted themselves again. Okay, on to Route 31. Yeah, we have to go this way. And then there's the cave over there where Dunsparce are found. Although, I think Dunsparce was like the magic carp in this game, where it was just completely useless. I don't even think it evolves into anything. Uh, since this is free EXP, I'm going to switch you out with someone else. I think. 
Well, since Aradish is already at level 5, I'm gonna switch my party up after this battle so that our new weak Pokemon can level up. And once I get an experience shared, this will be much easier. Hopefully, well, once we get to that point, it will be um, added into the game. I'm just surprised at how good this game is so far, and it's not even halfway done. If you have the money to support this, and you really love it, I really recommend that you can. I mean, excuse me, sorry about that. Um, if I would, I definitely could, but I just don't have the extra money to, to donate right now. Ah, uh, another Pokemon. Oh, I didn't even switch out my Pokemon. God darn it. God darn it. Oh, it's just a hop -up. What level is it? Level 5? I'll run. I know hop -up's about, or Radish is about to level again. But, I mean, it looks like he's looking right at me, even though he's obviously not. Uh, Pokemon. Let us switch you for Horned Worm. There we go. Wrong button. Are you a trainer? No? Dark Cave. If Pokemon can light it up, I'd explore it. I wonder how it looks. Oh, I love this music. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this is cool. I know this isn't where we're supposed to go and there's nothing leading over here, but... Oh, and the battle scene is different, too! That is so cool! Eh, Zubat, you can go and die in a hole. Running fails! What? Oh, dear God. Come on, I don't want to lose to a Zubat. Uh, <laughs> that is not a very good thing to do, and now Horned Worm is only at one health. <laughs> Leech life. Should we catch Zubat? Nah, we'll find plenty of Zubat later on. We don't need to catch him. We'll just beat him up. Get vengeance for taking one health from Horned Worm. You mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. 10 EXP. That should be a lot for a bug Pokemon. Now come back. There we go. That is so cool. I'm pretty sure that there are Dunsparce in here, though. I love the music. I, I could just sit in here all day listening to this cave music. But that is not the way we're supposed to go. Oh, what's that? Oh, and it shows the item on the ground. That is so cool. So now you don't have to guess. That is cool. I am really liking this. If, if you can't tell somehow, I am really liking this. Ooh, Black Apricorn. What are you, who are you? Her or her? I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. If I were a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. You would be a Snorlax, my good man. Because you are obese. No, you're not obese. You're just a bit pudgy. Chubs. Black Apricorn. I think these are the ones that make the heavy balls, actually. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not sure. I'd have to read up on them again. And if you guys have any tips for me of things that I might have missed or things that I could do better, feel free to leave it in the comments. And if it's actually helpful to me and I haven't already done it, I'll be sure to thank you for it because I like to give credit where credit is due. I caught a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle with you. Too bad we don't have your, our Poke gear because I know that this guy gives you his uh, number if you beat him. In the original game, anyway. Caterpie, level 3. Too bad we're switching you out so Flaming Mole can just set up a rave train. Good job, Born Born. You are great fodder. Okay. Caterpie, use Tackle. It did 3 damage. Oh, did it do 3 damage? I don't know, I don't even think it did 3 damage. I think it did like 1 or 2. I get the sun on my eyes. Ow. Critical hit. Super effective. That's like a perfect recipe. And now I'm like blind a little bit. Because of the sun. Whoops. Tip, don't look directly into the sun when you're trying to block it out. A smart idea. Wise words of me. Look, Catcher is about to send out Caterpie. Do you want to switch your Pokemon? Yes, I do. I want Hornworm to come back in even though he just leveled up. Go horn worm, and then I'm just gonna switch them out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. If we ever run into a team of Magikarp, like um, a Fisher has a team of Magikarp, 
that's gonna be like perfect for leveling up our weakest Pokemon since obviously all of their they're gonna know is Splash. So I'm gonna be really happy for that whenever that happens. String shot. Flaming most speed slightly fell. Ember. I think once a Pokemon gets retracted back into its Pokeball, all of its stats go back to normal, if I'm not mistaken. Besides like status effects, but I think like um say speed when that's dropped and then you send it back in and then send it back out, it's back to normal. I think it's been like that in every single game, but it's like one of those things that I've never actually looked into because I didn't really care that much. Unless it was confused, because then it would obviously reset if you t took it out and then put it back in. But I don't know for sure. So if you guys could tell me 